Okay, I have an update for you guys on the aftermath of SatanCon. Um, this was an article that was posted by Charisma News. I'm usually really, really cautious about Charisma's content. Uh, they do tend to sensationalize stuff, but I wanted to share this particular one. So at SatanCon, one of the female leaders stood up and made the quote saying, we stand here today in defiance of their siege and destroy their symbols of oppression, um, holding up a Bible, tearing pages out of the Bible, uh, as well as ripping a thin blue line flag, which is associated with support for law enforcement. So these were some things that were going on at their convention, but here's some good news. As Sean Fo reports, he says, while they were ripping up pages of the Bible to kick off the largest satanic gathering ever in Boston, over 98 attendees surrendered their lives to Jesus, verified, because they had covert evangelists that infiltrated the crowd to share the good news of Yeshua. During the same time that Satan Con was ongoing, there was another conference uh, down the street called Revive, and this was Boston's Christian conference. Um, the Christian community also responded quite strongly to this uh, convention that was ongoing. Hundreds of Christians hit the streets to worship and pray and evangelize. Uh, the Revive Conference was training people in evangelism and sending them out onto the streets. So this is super great news. And to hear such an amazing testimony that 98 people who intended to go to take part in SatanCon actually ended up being one over for the kingdom of God is just amazing. So no matter how dark the situation gets, our God always wins. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is more powerful than anything anybody else could ever come up with. Um, and that includes Satan, who is a creation from the Father. He is definitely not on par in terms of authority with the Lord. So we praise the Lord for this, and we continue praying for these individuals because just like everybody else on the planet who hasn't yet found Jesus, they're deceived as well, and they need the love of the Father. So let's continue praying and you guys continue evangelizing, sharing the good news of the gospel because Jesus is coming back soon. And this is such great hope that we hold that we can share with the world.